hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by if this is your first time here you're highly welcome and to my old subscribers i say a very big thank you to you so today is a quick one i'll quickly be showing you how to draft basic bodies for 10 years old and this is the measurement that you will be needing for a 10 year old you can quickly screenshot it and then save it to your phone and copy it out because I don't want to waste your time. The length is the shoulder to the knee and you can work with either um, 29, between 29 to 31 inches, depending on how long or how short you want the dress to be. And if it's for a very full length gown, you have to measure the child up to after the ankle to know exactly how long you want the gown to be. So I have my paper here. I will be using this to draft out the pattern. So I'll be starting off by ruling a straight line this will be my starting line so after that i'm just going to measure the half length which is 12.5 so normally i like to add one inch for seaming allowance so now instead of 12.5 i will measure 13.5 and i'm going to mark it so i'm going to rule a line and then right here, we're, the starting line, we're going to insert the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement is 11.5. Now we're going to divide 11.5 by 2. So I like to do my tape like so, just so I get the exact measurement. So once I bend it like this, I'm just going to mark it on the shoulder, on the starting line. That's about 5.7 inches. So next thing, I'm going to come down by half an inch. So now, next thing I'm going to do is insert the neck width. The neck width I'm working with is 3 inches. So you can actually work with how wide you want the neck to be or how deep you want it to be. So I'll be working with 3 inches. 3 inches is more or less like standard. And we're going to mark it on the starting line. And then next thing, we're going to mark the neck depth. On the starting line, you're going to come down again by 3 inches and mark. And if it's a round neck, we're just going to connect the shoulder width to the, to the neck width to the neck depth. So now from this neck width, we're going to connect our slant to our half an inch we came down before we measure our half hole. So I'm just going to make the slant. So from the shoulder slant, I'm going to measure the arm hole depth and that is 7 inches. I'm going to come down my tip and mark 7 inches. And on this 7 inches, we are going to measure the bust measurement. The bust is, it ranges between 28.5 to 30 inches. So, it is better for you to measure the child just so that you will be sure. This is just like a guide for a 10 year old. So now, I'll just work with the maximum which is 30 inches. Now, I'm going to divide that 30 inches by 4. If we divide it into 2, we will have 15. And divide it again, we will have 7.5 so i'm going to come here and mark 7.5 i'm going to mark whatever i got here for the shoulder measurement which was 5.7 i'm going to come down here and mark it again 5.7 this is just to ensure that i get a perfect straight line now i'm going to connect the straight line together and then like so so remember this is the bust measurement this way stop i've not added allowance to it now you are going to find the midpoint of this seven which is 3.5 you're going to come in by half an inch on that 3.5 and mark now you're going to connect this your shoulder slant to this midpoint to the bust measurement just to form the ample curve so this is our ample curve so now we're going to take the waist measurement. So the waist ranges between 24 to 27 inches. Now I'll use the maximum two and I'm going to take 27 and divide 27 into four places. And then I will mark it on the waistline. This is the easiest way to divide. Just put your tape like so and mark it. Just use your hand to press it down. That's the easiest way to get your accurate measurements. 
so that is about 6.8 on my tip so i'm going to connect the bust to the waist and then this is the body so now we take our allowance so i like to take one inch here so you can either take one or two inches allowance and just roll the line now we're going to connect the armhole to it next thing i like to take half an inch around the armhole and then on the shoulder too i'm still going to take half an inch allowance and then i'll take half an inch for the neck too remember we already took the allowance for the body so this is it i'm just going to go ahead now and trim it out and then we'll cut the black so now this is the front body i'm going to take my pattern for the back so it's basically almost the same thing it's just that for the armhole we will not be going inside i will need one inch for our zipper allowance so now we'll first of all mark our one inch for our zipper i'm just going to connect the lines together so now we'll go ahead and rule our starting line so now on this starting line we're just going to insert the measurements like we did earlier or you can because the armhole is not the same thing as the neckline that's why i just want to drop the back for you to see so we're going to insert the shoulder measurement or we'll start with the half length which is 12.5 plus 1 inch that's 13.5 that's for the half length so now for the shoulder measurement we are going to divide 11.5 into two places and then we will mark it we are going to mark it from after the one inch for the zipper after marking that we're going to mark our neck width which is three inches see i'm putting my tape from after the one inch for the zipper we're going to mark it so now for the neck depth you can choose to do a very deep v at the back or a high neck at the back if you are doing high neck at the back it's better to work with either one inch or one and a half inches so i'm just going to mark one and a half for the back and and i'll connect it So now on this point here that we marked for the shoulder, we're going to come down by half an inch again for the shoulder slant and we're going to connect it to the neck width. So from here now we're going to mark our arm O which is 7 inches and then just so that we get the perfect straight line we're just going to mark whatever we got on the neck, mark it here again. We're just repeating exactly the same thing. And then we'll rule a straight line. So right on this line, we're going to put our bust measurement. The bust measurement we put for the front was 7.5 because we used 30. Now we divided 30 into four places and we got 7.5. So now the waist measurement, we divided 27 into four places. So we're going to connect the bust to the waist and then we're going to go ahead and add our one inch seaming allowance and just connect the lines now for the ample we don't need to come inside we're just going to connect this point to this point So now we're going to take half an inch allowance around the armhole, the neck width and the neck depth and around the shoulder. So now you can see for the neck, I just traced it to pass the zip allowance. So now we're done with the back, we're just going to cut it out. So this is it after cutting the back you can go ahead and open it if you like but remember this is your 
zipper allowance if you don't like this kind of neck for the back you want to change it you can make it a very deep curve you can curve it like so just put your ruler or whatever you are using on the shoulder point there and curve it to wherever you like or you can even make it a very deep v you know so that's basically how to draft basic bodies for 10 year old and also the measurement like this video please give it a thumbs up share this video with your friends and family don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys i'll see you in my next video bye